good on it. Don't get me wrong. But they, they, they have to rebuild it and reimagine themselves on it and figure some stuff out. But for the meantime, I'm sure they're looking forward to Dust 2. And yeah, it's a map they already showed. They're very strong on already today. So let's see what they can do. Five out long as they go for the approach. And they've attracted the attention of all of Vitality, basically, here on the A site. Ooh, the lineup. Yeah, and they're, they're here to just straight up take the fight. <laughs> this will be an interesting one. I love Apex just turns around to make sure we're all in a line. Rally the troops. The general goes over top first and foremost. At least they used to in the good old days. Yeah, Lucky has one flash. We'll see if he wants to use it. They do give up on the stack. There it is. A flash comes out. Ooh, and a punish. Yeah. Kyojin able to connect one USP headshot. And man, he's going to try to find like an awkward angle around these smokes. T's trying to jump over. He does get lucky. Oh, and what? the pop into Bubsky. That's a tap and a half. Kyojin in with another. That's four kills for Kyojin. Looking for the ace. Looking to cut them down. Instead, he's... Any on the open like that. It's totally viable. Makes sense. You're trying to cut that down. Uh, cut that push down. And, you know, make sure that nobody's comfortable just walking up long on you at any given moment. So the second half of the game versus Liquid was when Lucky took to the T side on Dust 2. And that's when I feel like, you know, despite the kill count being high enough on the defense, yeah. it was the impact that he had in the second half that r was really shining. Yeah, because like so, the, his team failed to get rounds in that first half. So he mm -hmm. was he was hitting his shots, but like you're saying, the impact wasn't exactly there. At least not palpably, but... Ooh, really? The AUG goes down. That's, that's a... Oh, man. Best I mean, gun of the five that Vitality have to work with. It's an AUG in the open as well, so immediately as I will go to protect it, Dupree punishes the cross. That is insane. Right between the eyes. Masuda's out. All gets taken up, but this is kind of a bait, right? They go and try to recollect it, and now it's it's this mid squeeze. And look at the attack! Oh my God! Of course he does. Shocks alone in the B site. Just the farmist to work with. Two players coming out, but they're disjointed. Bubsky runs around the corner before Dupree is really ready to trade. So Shocks does a good job of cutting off the first and then damaging the second. Lucky remains in middle, floating with that scout, misses his chance at damage output, and Zaiwu looks to join Kyojin on the fight into the B bomb site. Kyojin cut as he tries to drop down from the window, and now Zaiwu. It's too good of a gun. Yeah, tantalizing save. They call it quits. Astralis with the force buy right back to winning ways. That was nuts. I mean, that was such a fast shot from Dupree as well. Uh, with the deagle, sliver of an angle right between the eyelids. He turned his forehead into a whistle. <laughs> like that one. So we'll go back and save. And yeah, there's, there's always a game with, you know, when you drop a gun, that's always consideration from both teams instantly. Where is yeah. that, where's that gun drop? And is it a bait to go... Is it crazy or am I crazy that yes. Zywoo get okay <laughs> that Zywoo gets that kill through smoke on like the 28th bullet of a 30 bullet spray? Yeah, if it wasn't Zywoo, it would be crazy. Does as he pleases, pops up from pit, gets Dupree dead to rights behind Big Blue. And this is now Vitality trying to take back momentum when their buy was in question. Now, Oof. of course, it's the fact that the AUG is still in play, but the first kill comes from Kyojin and then like you said, right? Those weapons, they instantly become the rope in a game of tug of war. Kyojin just wraps it up around his shoulder and gets going as fast as he can, but Masuda dies, and the USP peak from CT works well. <laughs> Apex taking his time with the end of that magazine, but the counter-terrorists look to line them up here inside the B site. Zipix going to be able to take away some pressure here. Bomb plant at the very least. Economy secured, but Saiwu still close on the retake. AUG up close, and now Kyojin's able to trade for both those kills. It's lucky backsight to die. Kyojin defused for vitality. He's the one that started this round. He's the one that ended this round, and he takes a page out of Masuda's book as he collects himself a 3K. And players who are a little bit too kind of sexy mechanically yeah uh when i consider it. but it's possible to be everything i mean look at look at zyru himself right there beside him he's got it all as well so maybe there's something to it you get a refined scream down the road maybe yeah it's an interesting take hawk is generally good for uh, a decent opinion yeah for sure so yeah he's, he's he's in the demos he's in the demos man he's in deep You know, back in the day on Dust 2, Doja and Get Right, every single round, would meet up at the long doors and literally just spray each other through the doors <laughs> until someone died. That was the epitome of cerebral play in Counter-Strike. Yeah. And we go back and look at those VODs and think, God damn, 
I could have won a major back then. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was so simple back then. Yeah. That's just completely unacceptable behavior these days. Then Astralis start throwing utility. Doja's like, this is what it takes. You peek someone who hasn't been flashed three times, you're cut. Retires. Yeah. Bubski. Loves a good uh, tunnels tuck, Bubski does. Yeah. Always in here, man. Sometimes you'll see four players from Astralis executing fully onto the A site with like 10 seconds to spare in the round, and Bub's still just sitting in tunnels. Mm. But uh, I've also seen him punish a push more than once or twice. Pistols all gathering together. Shox dodges the first flash, but eats the second. And wow. then even Masuda gets hit by a third. Nice execute here from Astralis, but it's the gun of Shox that's good for one kill. That array of flashbangs. The, the first one kind of, you know, ignored. The second one hits the guy in the back, and then the third... Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah, it's nice. like it, it punishes what Shox, where he would normally avoid to on that Very first nice. one. The timing's all great. You know, that Hummer flashes everything, and uh, it's beautiful for all those close spots. I was looking at that setup, and I was thinking, this is a really, really strong setup for Vitality, because, you know, if you do have the chance to go up against, like, pistols or any any situation where a player is going to have to hold W for, like, two or three seconds in a row, it's good to come come and swing out in front of them because, you know, you don't want to have to press backwards to stop and shoot, and you can't stop the train behind you. And sometimes you're going to get incidental damage from bullets in the back, so uh, it's really strong to be able to, like, be right close to the tunnels like that. But you saw it with the flashes. They really just didn't have an option but to eat them. And they absolutely did not fall groups. Team Vitality back at it. MP9, Deagle for shocks. Not the best of buys, but still, you know, three rifles sprinkled within and three players leaning towards B early on. Bobski's looking to take an early contact. Compare this to the way he was tucked in last round. Now trying to play around with the timing on the execute. Again, the flashbangs are going to be a key piece to this hit. Apex back by Carr, able to catch Dupree with his head turned. And they know Shoxy's over here, but Magis wants to trade on this Carr player. Apex arriving big time. And he was a key piece to the early success on Vertigo. Oh, Lucky snaps down into him. Saw Shox jump. jump onto the plat. They want a molly big box or just clear it from the right. Let's see how they approach it. Come on, can't... Oh, oh no. despite being blind. Shocks with a deke, headshot, no... F Back at it. Again, all right, we're talking Force Wars. They continue. Guerrilla Warfare for Astralis. What, they're going to try to bust their way out. Oh, oh wow. I get Cross it. Cam okay. I get it. This is no academy team. This is the big boys of Astralis. But Apex shuts down Lucky as he tries to extend out through that smoke. Man, that was that was a tough play to make with three CTs on the other side. And look at the way Vitality, excuse me, four. They were so they were so layered upon one another, we couldn't even see the bodies. Oh man, and that's that's a thick nade. Uh, lays on him like a blanket. One of those like 35 pound blankets. Yes, but that's not making him feel secure at all. Anxiety levels couldn't be higher here on Cat as they get surrounded. They've got four stars in GTA. Everything but the helicopters at this point. Military's gonna show up. Time to turn on the cheats. <laughs> 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 but there's no way to reduce this most wanted level. Vitality definitely not wanting to let Astrala slip away with a BO3 win. It's supposed to mean something to take a BO3 off of the likes of Vitality. Apex, nice timing, crawls up the catwalk, three kills and almost the fourth one, but Magis you know, got that ever... scream mask face <laughs> yeah. going on. Uh, like his face is made of goo, so good, so good. Uh, any Anybody who's figured out like, how to take, oh, like, push through the long doors. There's lots of timings to do that, you know. If anything's going cat mid or B, you know, outside long is going to be a little weak. But turning that door around that corner is so difficult to figure out a, a timing for that. And uh, it, like Vitality just did, any time a team can figure out how to do that, that's when they're the scariest, absolute scariest on this map. So the idea is to always threaten it, you know. You maybe do it once or twice a half. Sure. But make it feel like it's coming five times, so you're just killing time off the clock while people just hold and wait for your push over and over again. There was a chance. He hit the damage, but uh, not quite enough. Another good cat grenade as well. 
That was one of the nice pieces of that previous round's hold. When Astralis actually had tools to work with. In this case, they've got a sharpened rock uh, and a pocket full of lint. And I'm not talking chocolates. Apex, two kills, Pat in the stats. Off to a good start yet again. Ooh, okay, sorry, said his name. <laughs> Was 10 and 5 with three kills on this one. Kyojin and... Forward to this last leg of the year. It's exciting for them. Gonna try it again, huh? This time with guns. Kyojin. Oh, oh my god, up wow. close versus Magisk. And then a second. Kyojin so primed for the third as well. On high alert because of that audio cue. He is mowing down this offensive from Astralis. Zipix. Oh, his fourth victim. That, that's right. Style points. Swap out to the D. Oh. He's 15 and 2 off that. Damn. You know, this was supposed to be Lucky's day. Killer Kyojin locks it down at pit. Now this T side starting to lose a little bit of steam. Remember that Fallen flick earlier today? That was disgusting. Door, door hinge. Flick. That's the one you always go for. Yep. But people always do it too slowly. Like, he actually flicked that quickly because you have to. If you don't, the, you know, every, you're just going to instantly jump away. You're going to miss your timing. He did it as soon as he heard that, that click. And ever since, I mean, since that point, I'm sure Dupree was like, I'm not doing the door hinge smoke <laughs> yeah, anymore. Someone else can someone do someone it. Someone else has to do it. We got newbies on this team, and I'm doing the door hinge smoke, risking my life. As a four-time major champion, yeah. I don't think so. Stay from the back. Yes, underhand my smoke, Jeeves. <laughs> Bubsy's on smoke duty this round. It's going to block off the CT spawn so that they can go for the mid to B crunch. Does Bubsky actually join the fray, or does he just sit around and try to cut off the rotates? Because there's another four terrorists looking to chop down this B site, and sure enough, Masuda, oh ho, goes down empty shocks. Nice second kill into Magisk, and then these crisp headshots continue. He tries to dive into the cover. Bubsky's been tagged to 37 elsewhere, and sure. It. See if Vitality can extend this five-round streak beyond. But of course, the buy is back in. Zaiwu reveals that there's an off on an aggressive cat stance and shocks, then shows them a secondary sniper with Masuda on support. Great hold from Vitality. Kyojin gets aggressive, calls out that Zipix going to try and play the smoke, and then he replenishes it as well. Mm. Just like that. Blink and you miss it. Minute 30, 5v2. It's perfect. When you bring in that second off, you're, you're supposed to just get that one free frag where they know there's an op on the map. They don't expect it in this position as well. Shocks is that guy. He's got help. On top of that, so he doesn't even die. Kyojin being, again, once again, a reliable long anchor, even stopping the lurk here. Not just good in the cure explosive rounds, even catching off a player like Zipix trying to come in through with a lurk. And we just haven't had to use Saiwu at all uh, for Team Vitality right now. He's 5-1, and one, he's doing good, but he's definitely not been the star of the show. Interesting that Bubsky's actually managed to get all the way up outside of the B site. Yeah. And the setup's ready for the peak. It's super ready for it, so they don't need the help from A. This would just be, you know, a total failure from the B site. But Shox is fine from window. Yep. Masuda makes sure they can't even cross that way. The only way this works is if Masuda dies first, then Shox looks the other way, and then we can talk about a different round. But Masuda doesn't die, yep. and it goes perfectly. So the, se the second up, mm -hmm. but it's a real piece of the map now. It's one that Astralis are going to be a lot more careful about, but it's already netted you the round you're looking for. So now it's a bigger Dunk. threat, plus you're on this eco. They got what they wanted with that second op in play. And Chalks has been hybriding a lot more, and he's been hella great with it. And if you're a brand new fan, you probably haven't seen Chalks hybrid that often. This used to be a weapon he'd use easily. And this is something he's known for, just probably being, at the time, or for many years, the most versatile player in CSGO. Yeah, it must be nice to just be good at, like, everything. Yeah. Ooh, Bubsky, oh, though. That's, uh, that's something. And then Shox has his attention fully pulled over. But Lucky's not in a spot to really go for the mid-aggression. So these two B players that remain for Vitality, they don't have to worry about that mid-push. Eventually, it becomes a problem. And curiously enough, we do still have Zipix back in tunnels. So let's say Lucky drops down into CT, which is what looks like is about to happen. You can get this retake going. But Dupree with his hands on an AK. 
This would be a bit of a robbery for Astralis, and honestly, the kind of thing they need, because with Vitality on fire, with Vitality convincingly winning all of these rounds, you know, it's a nice little bolster of cash, and Lucky's in a really cool position. Executes the player up close, and taps <laughs> a... Ready to be clutch. Yep. Just to make sure nothing of a retake happens, you know, when Dupree curves that bullet outside window. Ooh, man, you really, really, they think they can push this versus Kyojin? Well, they can, and they do. <laughs> Dupree spraying everybody that was ahead of him, Zipix included, but they got the job done. Four versus three. I say job done, let's say job started. Job started. Job not finished, but job definitely started. That's great. They got long control as well with the uh, player advantage. Be hard pressed to find a team this good flubbing it from this point, but. We still have Zaiwu up and alive. He just really hasn't been a part of the action recently. Right. You said it, you know, we haven't really needed him yet because the other stars were shining. Well, so the frailty of the setup, of, of course, when you take long control, why it's so good, Cat is not fun to hold. So the, and the, there's not really a good response here from the CT side because you don't have a player at mid to watch mid while you push Cat, and then you can't get any cool rotations coming out of it. So you're really just stuck in limbo here with the CT side. You don't have great spots. You're going to get flash. You don't have anywhere to hide really, and they're not going to give you tons of easy shots. So you want to try to be a little bit aggressive. And actually, Bubski allows him ba maybe back into the round. However, a really important one. punish. Yeah. Yep. Zaiwu tries to confirm whether there's people over here because we know Bubski's good for a, for a late B lurk. Yeah, he Dupree. called it. Yeah, he's always up there. He's always up there. And in this case, he doesn't wait too long. He tries to get aggressive, just like Masuda did. Almost able to turn around onto ramp. But now they know that Shox is down here. Oh, Magic is dying. He's in the Molotov. He has to go for the replant. Oof. Oh, Molly. And then go into a setup. So right there, they found a time where they smoked the Molly a little bit early with the flashes to go over. And they were specifically looking for that. For players to be looking directly into long. And of course, Kyogre could completely spray them down. But he was blind. Oh, man. Yeah. That's a Magic peak if I've ever seen one. He's going to try and keep this one rolling, but it's Apex off of the ramp. And Apex, not only good on Vertigo, second most amount of kills here on Dust as well. But Lucky, well, he gets Apex off of this A site. With two kills on A, that's going to call Kyojin back from Long, where he has been fantastic. And there's nobody on Long to really punish the fact that he rotates over. And I like this. Yeah. Kyojin's not going to sit inside site. He tries to get aggressive. He activates, and he gets the best of Lucky. That could have been a kill for Astralis, and therefore a 4v2. Instead, that risk pays off. We're right back to the even keel. And this duel last round, we didn't get to see it, but Bubski eventually walked right into Shox's scope, easily offering over that frag. How do Astralis make something of this round with nothing but mid control at the moment? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, obviously, B is weaker just because there's no one at mid to camp it out. And now they'll see someone peeking off of cats, but they just don't know exactly who. And I don't think there's any good way to, to figure that out just from, from being here. So they might just commit up with their grenades. They have an op to work with on Dupree. But we'll see how hefty of an execute they'll go with. That's what I'm actually most curious about here. Oh. It's clean, but yeah. it goes two directions. They go light, not to start any rotations. Mm -hmm. One for one's not bad. Trying to lock it in. Allows for them to cross elbow. He's planning to stop that bomb plant. A deep position from Dupree means this is a, just a straight up 1v1. And Masuda with the element of surprise, catching Bubski turn. Dupree's going to have to clutch this, and both his opponents on 100 HP, he's out. So it seems. Yeah. They don't They don't, don't go off of it. Misuda's waiting for his teammate. They have the smoke to come down, and Dupree, I think, at this point, just saves That's it. Yeah, he, he can't go out in front of that smoke in good conscience. And or? Ooh. Oh, he's got a second smoke coming up. He's playing around with it. Yeah, they're taking their time here, so maybe try something crazy. I don't know. Too All right. late. Too late, my friend can't be a gap mm -hmm. and then you can get up close and do that tricky thing where they flash by you and you wait uh, but it was still a, a decent adjustment there from Kyojin very fortunate to miss to get the shot missed and also picked up an extra kill as he fell back well only a couple more rounds to play out here in the first half of the third map of the final match in our first group of the blast fall season it's a mouthful and these players have been a handful all weekend long. But whose hands are going to get dirtier as this one comes to a close? We saw two clean kills coming in from Astralis on Cat last round. It was only Kyojin who slowed it down. And only a little bit of utility that made the difference between the retake and the bomb popping off. 
A, the intended target yet again. This time, Zaiwu not being caught in extension. Drops his own utility and slows this down. Let's see. Ooh, the fire went out. Fade away from this. Yeah, I don't know if they want to try to drop in a CT, but they're trying to fake this cap presence. Oh, man, over top of the smoke. That's 2-0 I... oh for Magis versus Zaiwu. The punish from Lucky. Another important T-side kill here on the refrag. And they're still rocking this boat back and forth. Masuda's inside of the smoke in the B tunnels. This is about to fade, and he's got Lucky up close, but he gets the first kill, and Zipix gives cover. Magisk, late lurk on A site. Now it's on Apex. He turns back around and gets the kill at a distance, but it costs him 70 HP, and he posed. Be that calm presence, just locking something down while that happens. Now we move into the last round. We got the auto snipers out to show off the opulence. Let him know that we've got a big advantage here. And Zaiwu just has a scout. The upper B push comes through. Oh, they line up. That could have been big. Cyclops Zaiwu running in circles out middle. Come on, do it to him. If Zaiwu cracks his head like Fallen did, that'd be big. The 5'7 tries to snap, but instead it's the neck of Vitality broken in half on long. There's the peak from Zaiwu. Only him and Shocks left to hold off in this 2v4. And Dupree looking to seal the deal on this T side. A 6-9 T side from Astralis would be wonderful, but it's not over. Half the health, <laughs> three more players to drop. And Zaiwu has a chance to re-aggress on Cat, where he's gonna hear that bomb running over. And the long cross goes down without killing him either. From 40 down to 16. Someone's close. Bomb has been planted. We've learned our lessons. We know better than to write Zaiwu off in situations like these. That computer brain of his crunching the numbers, calculating and deciding. Oh, this is one risk of the round. He's not going to find anyone in pit. And then the, with the cat plant, it's going to be too much. There's not going to be a way mm. to be able to pull this off. And he got that run back. And Error. Yeah. <laughs> Error, yeah. Access denied. Molotov lands on bomb, and that one's going to spell disaster for Vitality. Run, my friend, run. This one comes to a close, and Astralis rocking the boat back. That Everybody does that, right? Charbroiled snooze? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 69. Giggity, giggity, all right. Let's get it on. Let's go. Let's see what can happen. It felt like Astralis' first half was going to be a bit more flat than that, but they really brought it back in the end. And for that reason, what? I look oh. forward to seeing what they're made of. Bubski, two headshots here inside of the tunnels, and Team Vitality pump the brakes. You see this instant push out long, and this is the key moment. Yes. And now they know it's going to be running back, so this information will be cooperated as well. There's no B hit attack coming on, but, you know, lucky you can play it as slow as you want. And he's going to sneak into a tricky position. Oy he oy. did it quickly, so we'll see if they clear him out. But they are going to be looking, I think. Oh, he gets it. Man, what a tough shot, man. Kyojin's, like, jumping downwards, kind of spinning on a swivel. Still, props to Lucky. He gets what he needs, right? Continue to cut down the numbers. But we know that Masuda is the king of three kills. Damn, that's so tricky. You see, uh, Zipex actually goes behind the long door as well after the push out uh, from Lucky. Ooh, three is whoa, whoa, his whoa. magic number. Hold on a second. You should know better. You know, look at the look at the utility. He's a utility guy too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Double flash Molotov. All right. What can you do? What have you got for us? Big oh, Jesus. Wait. Don't come tunnels. You get tunnels control. If you find out that they're long, you know, this seems to be like a very common thing to do on CT side. Since so many people are just taking long control on these pistols as well. Bubsky with a barrage of bullets through the mid doors as he sees a fair few targets. Ooh, okay. That's, that's Sometimes that's a dangerous game, right? All it takes that one deagle. Once they start layering above one another on the box. Oh, but Bubski. Tearing them limb from limb. Beating them over the head with them. Severed feet left, right. But for now, we focus on this fight. Between some of Europe's best. Oh, my. Wow. God, dude, somebody's been watching Masuda demos. <laughs> what? I'm they telling you, it's like the ground yet. Dude, all the players are like, oh, you think you're best with the Fomus? Yeah. Like, the Fomus stonks are on the rise. Mm -hmm. And just like GameStop, it makes no sense. It makes no sense, yeah. 
Bubski going to be given support here. What? Oh my god, dude. Headshots galore. Lucky he goes down, and it is just Dupree. He has no time to throw even some regular nades. What a spontaneous slaughter. And Shox is going to one-tap to close. Masuda is different sometimes, man. That was real quick. I need to see that. I need to see that 2K again. Because he just, like, switched it up quick, right? One in CT spawn, one off to the right. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, you've never made that community reference. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, I forgot you watched it. Yep. Yeah. I don't watch a lot of things, but from here and there. Looks like Dupree will treat himself to a save Thomas. This is important as the, you know, the later rounds. We often talk chalk up games to how they finish, but. These are the ones that get you there. So long controls, it's flirted with, but it's denied. I think Vitality had all the ultra good spawns. Couldn't sneak out anyone out to blue. And here, at the very least, I think it's always good practice to fake that you're coming out mid-doors whenever you see CT is taking long control because you know that they can't be there too. So at least you draw someone back. It's very standard practice. It's not really good, you know, counterplay for the CTs in that regard. And they have to kind of slightly pay attention to it. So important to threaten it, even if to Astralis there, you know, they're pretty sure you're faking it. Cost you 200 bucks on that flash. In the real world, that's a lot, but... And CS, that's, that's pennies. Chump change. Chump change. There are a lot of people on the right side of the smoke, and that's the number one thing we need to pay attention to right here. If Vitality do commit off cat, which mm -hmm. they won't necessarily, but they might, then uh, this is going to be the hardest possible round. They drop in a CT spot, and they are going to commit oh. up. But they also get the kill on Magisk and melt down every CT on the site. It's only going to be lucky. Down to 70 health, that op trying to retreat back around the corner. But even if he gets into the doors, Shox has arrived in time. And Lucky's not ready for this one. I have to wonder if there was some kind of mistake is he? there. <laughs> okay, bud. Okay. <laughs> he just throws a helicopter over. Swa, 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 swa. <laughs> I, I have to wonder if there's some kind of mistake there, because obviously, we'll call them Freiburg drops, because that's what they are. Okay. Uh, are really common, and people have been doing them for years, right? And sometimes they turn into mid Bs because that's the best way to mid B is to Freiburg drop with the deep CT smoke, make it look like a cat exec, and then run out mid doors and know that no one in CT spawn is spamming your smoke or shooting over top of the smoke while you get to the window. And in this situation, Magisk was boosted up waiting for the mid B, but had three people on the A site to not only help watch that drop, which should have been instant punish, but also deal with the players crossing. They fit the drop gets punished. Then suddenly I feel like Lucky has a bit more confidence to stick around, maybe claw a player off at the elbow. But it like unraveled from the most critical point outwards. And this one leaves very little for Astralis to work with. A Desert Eagle for Dupree. Apex just took a dink. But no one follows up with the donk. Yeah, felt like he was spotted. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Two instant kills, of course, as they round these corners versus the near nothingness that Astralis can offer us. Put a bow on this quick. What color would you like? A rainbow. Ooh. So blue colored, like rain. Good answer. Bomb has been planted. Anybody got a show to, to offer? Where's Apex? Nice and safe, hopefully. Yeah, he's tucked all the way in T-spawn. That's like the one thing that could go wrong. But uh, this is an easy 12th for Vitality. So don't forget, it was early success for Vitality in the first half as well. If Astralis have done... Killed him. Very pretty score line of 20 and 9. Very clean. Slowed down a little bit, but uh, I feel like they also started avoiding him on those long doors. So excusable. Flashing into the tunnels works wonderfully. Astralis able to find that solo shocks play. The Vitality gonna waste no time. Very quickly working their way up Cat, and ch check this out, Bubsky. Oh. He's trying to throw himself at it. Instead, he throws himself out the window. Baby with the bathwater. Masuda is an absolute assassin on these entries. That's another one up Cat, the lightning quick. I mean, no chance to shoot back whatsoever. 
you have to, yeah. You have to, you have to actually pre-fire this guy. He's too quick. Zip have an angle on this side? This is a weird one. As long as they play anti, they should be fine. CTs are not welcome here. And there's a lot of incentive to go and save since they just lost that last round just to buy up now. Yep. It's not, not fun for them because of how quickly they got that opening kill. But the response was just as wicked. And Astralis did a good job of also not showing that there was three people pushing. They okay. had the flasher, they had two there, but it was a kind of unclear. Actually, maybe maybe they did read that there was three with the flash, but they threw their own flash at the same time. So I'm not sure if they knew, uh, but I think they just took it as a call to action. Like we need to, how quickly and coordinated the team can transition from one move to another. That's the hardest thing to keep up with. And that's what em emphasizes the team aspect of this game, right? That's what's separating. It's not the individual level of these players. It's the team aspect. Shocks flirting as he does with the corner of the tunnels. They say indecision kills, but it feels like that decisiveness from Vitality last round was just as lethal. Exchange of grenades holds things at bay for now. Minute 20 on the clock. And few chances for Astralis to get this game back tied up. Well, you can see their intentions are known with this B tunnels pop coming off here. Bomb on the back of Zaiwu. Smoke comes down. They get rid of the smoke. And, ah, it's a huge punish. I mean, that shock took a risk there. Didn't expect Dupree to be up top. Okay. And we don't get one of those incredibly quick transitions. The Molly off cat right in front of Asuda. So you can be as brave as you want, but you're going to take 80 damage if you want to. He opts not to. Calculates and crunches those numbers. It's going to be the walkout through middle and another unexpected position versus Vitality. First over towards those boxes and again here in mid, Magisk knows he can just keep his head tucked. These players are going to be fighting tooth and nail to try and get this bomb onto the site. And of course, Zaiwu just no scopes lucky through smoke. His name seemingly redundant. Zaiwu in with a second. This is that kind of factor. Zaiwu, he's got himself a third. And there's a challenge in from Ramp, but Dupree's going to push. And he's going to stop that bomb. Oh, why'd he have to plant the bomb? Ah, oh, so close. You knew he would ace if he didn't. That was a nasty refrag. You can see how long they're hanging out around this one smoke that lands um, on the fast cat. It's just this giant one way, basically. You have a huge advantage versus fighting anybody who's sitting on the ramp or in CT spawn. It's so critical when you're coming for those cat attacks. It could only be to shocks, maybe, that he ran out long. I have no idea. Oh man, they're gonna go fast. Vitality trying to keep that pressure cranked to an 11. Dupree on the other side of the door, mirroring shocks' position. If long is what they wanted, it's what they got. But it comes with quite the heavy cost. Masuda down and Apex low already. Zaiwu set to hold pit. And Astralis leaning away from the A site. If Shox gives up this kill, then suddenly Astralis have that cat hold. But it's all about Shox right here, right now. And of course, he shuts down Dupree. Splatters him on the double doors. Dodges the flash. Nice reposition. Just that slight adjustment to get himself a second. He's done his job. And Lucky just extended around the corner far enough for his hands to be ripped off. 1v3 for Magisk or a 14th for Vitality. Those are the two outcomes. And it begins with a quick headshot into the biggest of scalps. Zaiwu taken out of this clutch situation. Done clearing the site, one on the ramp. Apex really low, but that's the op over towards Long. That nade could have made the difference to taking him out, but he doesn't know that the op has been picked up, and Magisk will approach quite hastily, but there's got to be no odds for him in this spot. Apex. Magisk, but he played it really well, just dodged the danger. Oh, of course! Okay. Of course! All right. Apex lands that headshot. All right. It's like that? Oh, that is salt in the wound. Masuda gonna punish the top mid push and the scrambling CTs working with such minimal tools on this one. Bubski, it's a nice attempt. A valiant effort with the MP9. Two frags here towards the B site. This is the bomb carrier and it, it zips. Draws, it is time to attack for Vitality. Keep it coming. 
They're hanging out of mid, looking for a duel. But they're in the wrong part of town, and they don't have the right weapons. Apex getting back some of that flare from Vertigo. Oof. Little scout shot, but you can poke the beast. The beast bites back. Additionally, Magus now knows there's a second target here towards Barrel, so the damage output's good. It's good enough to prime the other three players of Astralis to pick up some kills. The Vitality, they know they've got their foot on Astralis's neck. Oh, Bubsy's close. He can't back up too much. Zaiwu, he'll get a kill uh, oh, through the door onto Magisk. Yeah. That's two at mid. CTs are hanging smoke. out, as they should, but Bubsy no will get punished. Looking all directions as Shox tries to figure out where his next target will be. Maybe in upper tunnels. No. Bubsy oh, comes, comes back. back. <laughs> oh, man. He almost got caught with that bad time to reload. Instead, he's like, nah, this is mine. And he finds it. Remember, two players tagged up from Vitality. So this could be the final push of the first group here at Blast Ball Season. Zaiwu drops Bubski and the bomb. Throws that task over to Kyojin. His hand's now busy. Jumping MP9. Zipix, it's desperate, and it's so damn close. But now it has revealed his hand. And with a sleight of hand, he should be swept away by Zaiwu. Kyojin, 30 health. After the aerial acrobatics, his back turned to what's going to be his end, you'd assume. <laughs> That AK should have him dead to rights. Zipix softened even further. Zaiwu leaves. Wants to play as the insurance policy of their 16th round win. And folks.